Hi all, Simon Keeling here at weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks for watching. And um, the reason I'm here uh, is that I'm setting up at the moment the room for Weather School uh, this weekend. It's an Aviation Weather School Part One. Um, forgive the T-shirt. I've just been to the gym. Um, but what I wanted to do is just to show you um, how I go about forecasting ice risks and how you as a pilot can also do the same. Um, the delegates who come to Web School have said in the past they thought they'd find it really handy if I just put together a quick video uh, showing you what I see as a weatherman when I'm predicting certain events. So uh, take a look at this. This is how I go about predicting icing for your flights. Don't forget, it'd be great to see you here at Weather School on a Weather School course. Take a look at weatherschool.co.uk for more. Okay, on with predicting ice. So this is just one example then of a situation where ice could occur. This is the forecast chart for midnight on this particular day, Friday the 18th of January. Notice there's a warm front out towards the west of the UK across Ireland there. Um, it's a weakening feature. Behind it is an occluded front and that is all moving in an easterly direction. Now the forecast chart for 12 hours time, so this is the forecast for midday on Friday, shows the warm front has gone, it's collapsed away, it was weakening anyway, and it's leaving us with this occluded front. But there is lots of precipitation ahead of that front. You can see that on the precipitation forecast type. This is for the period from six o'clock on Friday morning till midday. And these charts are just produced by the model and the model then makes a prediction as to whether there'll be rain or snow. Green is rain, blue is snow and it gives us an idea as to how much rain or snow will fall during that six hour period. So you can see here that it's predicting that there would be rain or snow across southwest and southern Scotland, parts of northwest England, into the eastern Midlands, onto this eastern side of the Pennines um, during the period of Friday morning. However, towards the east, very, very little precipitation. So if you were going to be flying out in the east here, you might just think, well, actually, I could probably get in ahead of that. But there is a significant icing risk there. Now, first up, the alarm bells ring because it's ahead of a front coming in during the winter and temperatures are expected to be pretty cold. In fact, it's maximum temperatures for Friday afternoon. You see that they are pretty low. We're looking at temperatures of just two, three, perhaps a four degree across eastern parts of England. So immediately your ice alarm bells are ringing. But the real key to this, the real holder, is to take a look at the skew T forecast. This is the forecast for 6 o'clock in the morning. It's valid for Newcastle. And um, with the zero degree isotherm running up here, you can see that actually even from the very surface, temperatures are just hovering around freezing. So any precipitation is going to be uh, causing a bit of an icing problem. There's cloud in here at around 700 millibars upwards. So certainly that's the high medium level cloud coming ahead of that front. Now on here with a height at sort of 10, 11, 12,000 feet, you wouldn't expect any precipitation at the surface, but with fairly thick a cloud up aloft, there could be a little bit of verga just falling from that at these sort of levels at six or 7,000 feet. Now, 12 hours later, this is the chart for midday, and wow, that's a wet scooty diagram. You see here, really, we've got a thicker cloud going right the way up from 925 millibars all the way up here. And with the zero degree isotherm through here, surface temperatures are, yes, just above freezing, but it's not going to be taking a great deal for uh, you to be in immediate icing conditions. And with the cloud below freezing all the way, that's widespread ice. And even by six o'clock in the evening, we've still got that problem with fairly thick cloud, not quite so deep. It stops at around six, 25 millibars, something of that order, but the ice risk is still there. But just look at something interesting here down at the surface of this chart. Let me just uh, zoom in on that one and I can show you uh, what I mean. If you just look at the bottom part of the chart, sea temperatures have come above freezing 
down here. So the freezing level is lifted to about 900 millibars, but we're only three, four degrees at the surface upwards and still in a very moist air mass. So there is a risk of icing still with the temperatures at two or three degrees right the way down to the surface. So certainly it's a position where you've got to be thinking widespread ice and given the look of things and given how those QT diagrams appear. But we'd be thinking of that anyway, having seen these surface charts, which are showing themselves in cold air. It's showing the front coming into cold air and immediately, particularly having seen that earlier skew T diagram, we'd be thinking that yes, there is a significant icing risk developing during the course of Friday. So there you go. Hopefully that was useful for you. Uh, we'll do more recordings like this as well. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also uh, take a look at weatherschool.co.uk for more information about us. And it'd be great to see you on one of my aviation weather courses at some time in the near future. All the dates are on the website and there's loads more information for you on there as well about the courses that we run. Okay, I will leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.